Okay, cool. Welcome to the webinar. We've got quite a few in here already. So if anyone wants to join in the next sort of few half a minute or so, I'm going to let them in. After that, I'm going to close the doors and we're going to make a start. I wanted to keep this on schedule. And for anyone who's watching this on a replay, this offer will still stand. So if this webinar is available online, the offer will still stand. So don't worry if you're watching a recording. Um, for anyone who can hear me clearly, just put in the chat, say hello. Uh, you can introduce yourself if you like. Tell me a little bit about why. Yep, we've got Dan on here. We've got Stuart. Cool, we've got quite a few on here. So I think it's a good time to start. So what this webinar is all about is how to start your own automotive locksmith business from home that can make over $100,000 per year. And that's without spending years learning how to pick locks or spending thousands of dollars on courses and equipment. And I'm going to show you a very straightforward, simple strategy that can get you started today. Now, first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. So I'm Alex. Um, I started out as a locksmith when I was 16. I'm now 34. Um, bloody hell, the time goes quick, but it's all been good fun so far. So that's the main thing. Now, the reason I love auto locksmithing or locksmithing in general is the lifestyle it gives me. So, you know, I don't work too many hours a day. I work maybe three, four maximum per day. Sometimes I work for half an hour a day. Um, and it just really fits around my lifestyle. And every day is different and exciting. So that's one reason why I love it. Um, so, yeah, I started out when I was 16. Um, started out as a domestic locksmith and then moved into doing some of the more um sort of involved auto locksmith side of things um, we're going to get into that a bit more in a bit so firstly obviously i'm quite qualified to teach you this i've been doing this for 15 years um these are just certificates they're just pieces of paper anyway you don't have to worry about qualifications when it comes to this stuff so if you hang around for the next 45 minutes you're going to learn my exact strategy on how to become an auto locksmith from home and make over a hundred thousand dollars or more cool so and this is literally it's what it says here this took me 15 years of blood sweat and tears and you're going to learn this all in the next 45 minutes so um so again if you are watching the recording of this don't worry it will still be available um if it's online the offer's available i'm not going to keep it online for a long time though so firstly let's talk about the skills you're going to learn from this course uh, from this webinar so this firstly this is a real business this is you know a face-to-face -face business dealing with customers and taking actual cash for jobs it's not an internet scam it's not make money online or drop shipping or all this stuff you're seeing at the moment some of that stuff might work but for me i go i like sticking to the old-fashioned um face-to-face -face business where I'm out and about dealing in, with real situations, dealing with people and generally just, you know, providing a good service to people. And that's what really motivates me. A lot of this Internet stuff um, sounds great, but, you, should, you know, it soon gets boring sitting behind your laptop, um, no matter how much they try to sell that idea to you, sitting on the beach with your laptop. Trust me, it you will get bored um so this is a genuine face-to-face -face business um you'll be dealing with customers and actually making people feel happy and actually be glad to see you which is one reason why i really love this so if you stay to the end um you will be getting a free bonus and again that's even if you're not watching this live i know a lot of you um 
are going to watch the recording of this because you can't make it because of the I know there's the time difference in America to the UK but just stay around to the end and I will be giving you a free bonus and firstly just a little bit of house rules um, if you just sort of try to shut everything off when you watch this webinar because I want you to focus so grab a pen and paper and take notes you know close off Facebook and all that and turn your phone off just try to get this try to get focused in this bit and this will not be online for a long time so I want you to really you know don't treat this as a video you can watch anytime I want you to really soak up as much as you can in this because this might not be available. I'm not going to keep this online forever. Okay, cool. So, again, I'm Alex and um, I started off, you know, I started off, let's go through it. So, I was, first I became interested in magic when I, when I was really young, say seven, eight years old, and I became obsessed with the magician Houdini now I don't know what it was but something captured me about him um, the way he could escape from anything they even put him in jail and he escaped and he was a master magician um, I'm also interested in magic I perform part-time as a magician it's another th one of my passions so I became pretty much obsessed with Houdini and I read his his uh, biography and everything and it mentioned that he studied as a locksmith so I thought wow this could be interesting so I sent out loads of CVs um, all around my my local area to try and get a job as a locksmith now the only person who would give me a job was like a a shoe repair shop who also done keys on this on the side you can see the little keyboard here this isn't the actual shop I worked in by the way this is just an example of where I started off so it was in one of these sort of dusty old shoe repair shops cutting keys and stuff like that um, you know but there I learned all about how to cut keys I didn't really learn about locks but I learned how to cut keys and I really found it interesting how there's thousands of different keys and you can identify it in the moment and you know I just really enjoyed it and if a key didn't work I normally managed to get it working again just sort of got my basis there from learning, learning out how keys work in, in the beginning um, from then on I went on to train as a as a an apprentice locksmith in another company and for eight years um, I practiced cut key cutting lock fitting lock opening safes master suite systems key key and locks alike cutting keys by hand servicing locks I done everything and um, this is where in them eight years I really got my um, my skill level up and really learned a lot then one day I decided to start my own business and this was um, the actual car that I started my business with uh, it was an old Renault Megane and I had my little tools in the back um, but that you know that was the start of something that it, although I started off very basic that's what I like about this business is you don't need to go out and rent a shop or have massive overheads you can literally start from the, the back of your car which is you know it's so cool I can't think of many other professions where you can do that not even plumbers can do that um, and it's just cool you know just all you need is your mobile phone website and a car so that's how I started um, what happened was is I I was a locksmith running my own business for quite a few years and I was always getting phone calls for car keys um, and I asked around the other locksmiths no one seemed to to offer that service and when I sort of delve a bit deeper they were telling me that it was too expensive to get started it's too involved too difficult um, 
and yeah people just wouldn't go near it there might be the odd locksmith um who was offering that service but not many at all so i kind of had one of them light bulb moments one day where i said to myself this is where the money is because you know when you offer a service that is difficult that no one else is doing that's usually where the money is um so that's something i sort of had one of them moments where i was like okay this is what i'm going to do i'm going to become an auto locksmith or automotive locksmith as you call it in the states and that's what i done so i invested in the tools in the training and set myself up as an as an automotive locksmith and providing a lost key replacement service is really where all the money is so when a customer loses all their keys to the vehicle um, they've normally got two options one is to go back to the dealer um, who will charge them a fortune the other option is to go to a locksmith like myself who provides a key to the vehicle and that's where all the money is in locksmithing. Um, I've tried every avenue of locksmithing. I've tried safes, access control, um, you name it, I've done it. And this is where the money is in locksmithing. So if you're interested in becoming a lock locksmith, I recommend you, you really give this a go with the automotive stuff. So... The three secrets to becoming a successful locksmith. This is in my experience of doing this since I was 16. Number one is you've got to get your website to page one, position one on Google, or at least in the top 10 to stand a chance of running a good business. Now, if you think about it, when everyone, when anyone's locked out, normally they've got their mobile phone on them they're going to google for a locksmith they're not going to use the yellow pages usually word of mouth doesn't really work in this industry because um you know people don't plan to get locked out so it's not something that people really think about you know keeping a locksmith number you know don't get me wrong that if you do a good job and you you do get a good reputation but it's more of a case of getting found on Google and people are going to trust you and call you. Now, the other key to being a success is offering a lost car key service, which we just talked about. Um, so I can see a few of you commenting saying, um, what is a lost car key service? So as I mentioned a minute ago, that's um, so when a customer's lost all the keys to the vehicle and they've got no spare, we come along as an auto locksmith and offer a, well, we provide a, a car key to that car, um, which we're going to go into in more detail in a minute. Um, and the third secret is to always beat the dealership prices. If you can beat the dealership prices, they're going to the customer's going to pick you they're not that fussed on um who they go to as long as it's the most cost effective and you're going to offer a quality product that the same as the dealer they're going to pick you so if i'm going too fast by the way just tell me to slow down um because i've got so much to get through i'm kind of rushing through it a little bit um i'll try and pace it a bit more um it's quite a lot to get through but let's first go into the three scenarios on how it all works as a as an automotive locksmith so there's three main scenarios um these are all in sort of order of how much money you can earn for each job so there's copying keys also known as cloning um which is quite obvious if a customer has a car key and they want a spare they'll come to you and you'll provide them with a copy um, so that's probably the lower down end that's perfect if you've got a shop because you've got customers coming in and out all day but if you need to go if you're a mobile locksmith like myself I try not to focus too much on this part just because there's not much profit in it 
um, you know if you're just copying a car key next uh, scenario is vehicle lockouts which again is pretty obvious if a customer has locked the keys in the car or perhaps they've lost the key but they've got a spare they just need to get it opened um, there could be other instances where the, you need to open the, the car um, so this is probably like the middle area which I really enjoy because they're really quick jobs you know five minutes and you're, you're in and you're gone um, and the third scenario is replacing the lost car keys which is obviously the lost car key service that is where your money is so that's what we're going to really focus on in this webinar and that's what I want you to focus your business on when you when you set yourself up um, I'm going to show you all the strategies and everything how to actually do this um, once you're set up that's where the money is so I want you to focus on that <coughs> excuse me so let's go through a bit more in detail each scenario so we've got copying car keys which was the first scenario and let's say the average cost of the remote key to you is $60 to buy from the from your stockist you're gonna sell that to the customer for around 80 to 120 dollars so that works out at an average profit of $40 per job. Could be lower, could be higher. It all depends on a lot of things like, you know, what car it is, how cheap you can get your part. Um, but you can see that's roughly what we're looking at per job on, on an average profit. So the second scenario is, oh, gone too far is the vehicle lockouts um, one of my favorites the quick money um, so the off the, the good thing about this is there's no there's no cost to you in doing this apart from you know your wear and tear of the vehicle your tr travel cost to get there stuff like that but there's no parts involved you're just picking the lock or or bypassing the the door so that's around 75 to 100 dollars per job um and you might get a few of these a day which is cool and the third one is the replacement car keys so let's say the average parts to you are between 80 uh, between 30 and 80 dollars you sell to the customer for between 2 and 400 dollars that's an average profit of 300 per job that's why you can see we're going to focus all on the lost key service and that's again I'm going to keep focusing on this but this is really where the money is replacement car keys because they're still fairly quick jobs and you can imagine if you can fit a few of these in a day um, you're doing well so let's get on to the next slide which is how to market yourself for success now the way you do this is you show the customer the benefit of using an automotive locksmith now why would they come to you and not you know why don't they go back to their dealership who can probably provide the key quite quickly well, let's look at the pros and cons of the dealership versus the locksmith what we do is we make it a no-brainer for the customer so let's take the scenario the customer loses their key and they go back to the dealership firstly the customer will have to get the car towed to the garage you know because the your dealership's not going to come out to you and cut your key on the roadside Wherever your car is, you might have gone to the supermarket and lost your key. You're going to have to get that car towed to the to your dealership. Well, let's say an average tow cost is $100. I don't actually know, but I'm just guessing it's not going to be cheaper than that. Um, secondly, your car will have to stay with them for up to seven days, sometimes longer. I've heard of customers losing their car for weeks. 
just because the, the dealership needs to cut the key and it's a long process for them. So the customer will probably have to rent a car, let's say at an average cost of $300 for a week. Again, these are very sort of estimate prices, but I'd say that's, these are quite fair really. These They could be a lot higher than this. Um, but the average cost to the customer to rent the car would be $300. And then finally, we've got the actual key itself, which will be around $300 from the dealership. Um, so now we're looking at 700 quid dollars all because the customer went to the dealership plus they've got the stress and inconvenience of having to go there you know they've lost their car they've had to get it towed they've had to rent a car you can imagine that's quite a horrible experience for the customer especially if they've got for example a work vehicle where they've got tools in the back or machines in the back you know they might be able to rent a car but it won't have their equipment in it so they'll probably lose money as well um, perhaps they can't work at all if they're self-employed um, they're going to lose they might lose a week's wages or two weeks wages so you can see how this can mount up for the customer now let's look at the example of a locksmith um, which will be yourself so we arrive in 20 minutes, so there's no waiting. Um, I always try to get there as quick as possible when someone loses the key. Um, I complete the, ro the all the work on the roadside, so there's no towing of the vehicle. And I always ch charge less than the dealer would. So the way you can do that is you can find out what the dealer ch will charge just by ringing them up and getting a quote. And then just undercut that that price because they've already saved money anyway on tow fees and vehicle renting so you can just undercut them so the total cost to the customer now would be I should have put 280 there but you know you get the point um, and the customers saved around $400 and the whole job from the moment they phoned you until completion is all done in one hour so you can see now it's a no-brainer for the customer they're gonna love you if you can provide this service so first let's look into your potential earnings as a locksmith now that's probably one of the biggest questions I get how much can you earn as an automotive locksmith so let's sort of break it down and see exactly how much you can well not exactly but you know an average day might look so these are quite fair as well let's say you get two lost car key jobs worth about 250 each that's 500 dollars you might get three keys copied um which would be about 100 dollars each this is turnover as well by the way so we're not sort of taking out the costs we're just doing this all as turnover <coughs> excuse me and then we've got two vehicle lockouts <coughs> sorry <coughs> so we've got two vehicle lockouts uh, $80 each so now not just that you might offer a 24-hour service so you know if you're working at night in the middle of the night doing this service you can charge double if you want <clears throat> I've not included that in this but let's say your average turnover is $1,160 per day and that's without this um, $200 plus for 24 hour service I haven't included that so as you can imagine this is you know let's look at an average week if you added up that seven days that's eight thousand one hundred and twenty dollars per week um, if we look at the average month that's thirty two thousand four hundred and eighty dollars per month and that's without without even including the out of hour stuff so if you were doing a a 24-hour service 
this would obviously mount up a lot more so plus if you've got a domestic service as well you can offer all of the, all of this keys all of this car stuff all on top of your domestic business and you can imagine how this mounts up so let's go back to the three secrets of becoming a successful locksmith so number one is get your website to page one position one on google in my course i show you the strategies that i've used to get my website to page one number one i think i'm currently number two on google at the moment but that sort of goes up and down um, but I I show you the exact strategy to get to number one. Um, offering a lost car key service, which we just talked about. That's where all the money is. And then again, beat the dealership prices and really focus on your um, the benefits of using the auto, an auto locksmith. And then you just can't lose in this. It's, it's you know it's a no brainer. So why wouldn't everyone do this? Why doesn't everyone start an auto locksmith business? And the reason for this is because they, there's common misconceptions about this, um, which is, firstly, they don't think that you can learn a skill like this online. They think you need to go to a, one of them really expensive courses um where you're away for a month or so you have to book into a hotel you have to take a month out of your current job and you know spend thousands on equipment which which is true for some people but not for you guys because you're watching this webinar um and i've already i've already spent as i said 15 years learning my craft so I'm going to share it with you guys. So, false myth number one is you can't learn a skill like this online. Now, the thing about this is once you learn the first part of the process, which is really where the skill's at in this, then the rest of it is just pushing buttons. When you're programming keys, um, it's all about pushing buttons. You've got to know which buttons to push, of course, which is pretty straightforward. But the first part, which is mainly identifying and being able to pick and things like that, and which I'm going to show you in the course, that's where the skill is. Once you're past that, which you can easily learn online, um, I've got, you know, dozens of students who have gone through my courses and they're, they're now set up as a, as a successful locksmith. So. I know this stuff works um, you won't have to spend a fortune on courses away from home no booking into hotels you won't have to quit your current job and there'll be no pitching of expensive equipment at the end now a lot of these courses you can you can go to in your local area some of them are quite funny because they're just basically you you pay for the privilege of being there then at the end all they do is pitch you on what you need what equipment you'll need they'll tell you you need the most expensive key cutting machines and key programmers and you you'll end up walking away spending an absolute fortune with them companies so you're basically paying for the privilege of them giving you a sales pitch which could often last for a month so you can imagine the sort of money they make so there's going to be none of this in this course um, people often think it costs thousands to start it can cost thousands to start if you don't know what you're doing um, my methods is all about starting small starting out on the vehicle lockouts get confident at that and then move up reinvest the money into the equipment and do it step by step because you don't want to overwhelm yourself anyway at the beginning. Um, I'm going to show you all the equipment to get and everything. So also 
the methods I show you for getting your website up to number one will really jumpstart your business and it will give you a head start above any competition even if there's established automotive locksmiths in your area my methods will show you how to get above their website and take a bigger share of the market than they are currently getting so you will be able to um, instantly start earning with this business so here's what you're going to be getting today if you sign up for the automotive course so firstly you're going to get the automotive locksmith business course this is 10 lessons all about starting your business uh, that's normally valued at 197 dollars you're also going to get the practical course uh, which is again 10 videos all about picking locks programming um, remotes how to build remotes programming keys vehicle lockouts everything you need to know uh, to get you started now that's also valued at $197 so with both of those courses the total value will be $394 but as you're, you guys are watching this webinar now, um, none of you have dropped off yet, so you seem pretty keen. Um